Oh, got two. Yeah. Yo! Yeah. What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We are out here today. We're all set up, ready to go. I got the local beauty with me. The Benelli 20 gauge. The one my wife bought for me for Christmas. Uh-huh. This is what we got going on today. I found a little pigeon hunt on a uh, farmer buddies of mine. He said, go ahead, Bob, have some fun. This setup is a very unique setup. Check it out. So this is an entry road to his pivot over there. Yeah, see the pivot? Way over there, that tank. This road is what you drive on to go maintenance the pivot. So roughly I got out probably, I'll do a quick count here, uh, but I just put the decoys right on the road. They just got done cutting the wheat out of this field. So as you can see, there is a lot of good food right here on this road and they know it. They're coming and they're eating it. Look at all this good stuff. Good stuff. So I have a flock of flicker, one mojo that I was barely capable of getting in the ground because the ground's so hard, but pretty cool. Right on the road, this is where they were yesterday. So the flight line comes right over me. I think I'm in prime position. I think this road really lifts the decoys out of uh, the tall cut wheat, makes them more visible as well. But I just made it real natural, packed them really tight, didn't, didn't spread them out. Basically packed it tight right where I want to shoot them. This is only about a, uh, I'd say a 20 by 10, you know, so it's very, very small. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning. Look, look at the Kansas sunrise coming up. It's absolutely perfect. It's sitting at 65 degrees right now. And it's feeling mighty lovely. But little solo action, um, as you all know, little update on Fred. <clears throat> Actually, me and P Diddy just did a podcast over on uh, Blind Talk. My podcast is always linked at the top of the description down below. We did a podcast over Fred, my dog, and I completely explained what he has, what's going on, how it's gotten worse, and described my new dog that I bought. I got a new dog. I had to. And when I do the video over the new dog, I'll explain it more, but if you guys are curious enough, go listen to the latest podcast, me and old P. Diddy. We sit by his pool, drink a few cold ones, shoot the you-know-what, shoot the crap, and... Um, talk about Fred, talk about the new dog, completely explain it. The podcast is always popping off. We do fun stuff over there. I am able to be myself. I don't have to uh, watch my mouth, my language. You get the point. But I'm gonna put down the camera. Let's roll. Oh, I counted, we're sitting at like, I think I, right at 30 decoys is all I use. So it looks really natural. And I think that this little road should work. This is where I'm sitting just in some weeds on the old bucket, uh-huh. This is what we got for ammo today. Uh, I just have the normal Federal 20 gauge, seven and, seven and an eighth, seven and a half shot. But then I brought a little bit of power. This is number four shot, two and three quarter, three quarter ounce. So that is a really, really, really good duck load for a 20 gauge. So we might try it <laughs> as well. I went and bought, ooh, two pigeons coming. Oh, they are coming. Come on. Ooh, they're looking and turning around. That's great. I've been scouting the heck out of these pigeons. 625, the first one show up. First two kind of came out, turned back. They've been stopping out the field before me, then coming here. So I might spread the decoys out a little bit to make it a little more noticeable. But what I was going to say, I bought a bunch more of the 12 gauge shorty shells world's smallest shell i think that we should redo the pigeon hunt drop a comment down below should we should i redo that short shell pigeon hunt maybe just do a solo again i got a better feed pigeon feed that is to do it drop a comment down there let me know what you guys want to see i would greatly appreciate it and come on let's get this video over a thousand likes two thousand three thousand it's all up to you guys come on Six pack hitting the field right here. Ooh, are these starling? No, they are not starling. Barn swallows. Ooh, there are two white ones in this flock of five right here. Six. Two white ones, flock of six. Come on, give me a look. 
group of four. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I smacked him. Did you hear that hit? Holy smokes. That shell went... The shot, when it hit that bird, it went... <laughs> Holy smokes, that Benelli kicks butt. I love it. It's so nice and nimble. There we go. We're on the board, boys. Oh, high shooter. Coming up. Oh, you did not get hit. I thought you did. That was awesome. They got down in there. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Sitting them decoys really tight. So they got to come right to the hole, right where you want them. That was beautiful, dude. That was such a close shot. Okay, we got a second. Let's go see what we shot. That was sweet. Look where he fell. 10 yards from where I'm sitting. Right in the decoys. That is just a normal feral blue bar. Nothing special there. We're going to put him, how about right there? Uh, when I don't have a dog, like I said on the last pigeon hunt, I always leave uh, the birds out in the spread when I don't have a dog. All right, do you understand what I'm saying? With a dog, you can't leave the birds out in the spread because it'll confuse the dog when they're going out to retrieve the next bird. So on top of that, uh, not to be dramatic or anything, uh, on the last pigeon hunt, it was a banger. We shot 40, uh, but I had someone say, you preach about being ethical with animals and waterfowl, but you just, or your buddy girl just threw, me too, you just throw the pigeons in the spread like that? It's a pigeon, they're a nuisance animal, they're invasive, there are no regulations on them, there's no season, first of all. We use pigeons, dead or alive, to chuck around for dog training. Get real, not y'all, but just a few of you that think, I don't know, just think too much into things and, Come on, it's a pigeon. It's a pigeon. If, if that offends you, maybe you shouldn't be watching my channel. I'm just telling you. Now, waterfowl on the other hand, ducks, geese, cranes, dove, turkey, anything like that. A game animal, okay? Absolutely respect. I don't chuck ducks and geese and all that stuff around. I absolutely respect those animals. And what I was getting at, um, you know, from my point a few videos ago, I made a whole video over it. I think it's called What I'm Sick of Hunters Doing All the Time. And uh, what I was getting at is, I seen another one on TikTok. There was two kids in a mud boat just plowing through thousands of ducks on the water. And I mean literally plowing through, like trying to grab them. They were full speed, probably killed a bunch of them. I saved the video. I'm not gonna put it on here because I don't wanna, con I, I don't wanna broadcast it and make it bigger than it is but what baffled me was the amount of people on there thinking it's funny the amount of famous people with check marks thinking it's funny laughing telling them best video ever illegal as don't do that stuff don't play with wounded ducks don't run your boat through live animals just stupid it honestly is stupid gives us hunters a horrible rap, a horrible name, a horrible face, and we don't need that right now. I'm done preaching. Dove. There are dove everywhere. I've been having dove laying in the spread. One of y'all, a couple of y'all, uh, asked on the last pigeon hunt, uh, do the pigeon decoys uh, help decoying dove? I'd say probably. Uh, I don't think you need many of them, but it does draw that attention. I think that really all you need um, is one uh, spinning wing decoy, a mojo, a lucky duck, something like that. Um, if you want to get creative, you can get half a dozen pigeons. And then uh, I do know that the uh, block of flickers and one mojo work beautifully for a single man dove hunt. Absolutely my go-to setup. Uh, you really don't need any decoys, you know, full bodies or anything like that. But yeah, I've been decoying dove all freaking day. 
I wish that the season opened sooner because we have a ton of dove. Here comes one right now. Look at him. Boom, right in the decoys. Told you. <laughs> I've been watching it all day long. Let's see if we can hear that. Dang it, I want the two white ones to come back. Here they come. I'm gonna have to pass on this dude. Try to get these white ones. Come on, get down in here. Come on. Here we go, boys. I'm gonna take whatever shot I can. No! Well, that sucks. That really sucks. It's the only shot I had. No! Dang it. Well, here comes two back, possibly. That was horrible. They were really far. That was a long shot. I thought they were going to decoy a lot better than that. There we go. Oh my gosh. What in the heck? Oh, got two. Yeah, good shooting there. There we go, redeem, <laughs> redeem myself. Had to get the old finger trigger warmed up, the old dead eye. Oh, we got birds everywhere. Never mind. We'll have to go pick them up in a minute. I don't know if you guys were able to see that or not, but those birds were decoying just fine. And I lifted my barrel right before I shot, I lifted and they flared, they went, I freaked them out. So maybe just wait a little longer, but it still decoyed well, but I could tell right when I lifted my gun up, they went, whoa, they didn't like it. So they're, they're not stupid. You know, they're not just completely stupid. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Here was the first one I shot. Regular blue bar. Let's put you right there, buddy. And here is this one. This is the last one I shot. Oh, just a regular blue bar. Feral pigeon. <laughs> that kill deer. I've had so many kill deer laying in the spread. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're from Kansas or maybe just noticing it wherever you're from I have seen I would say 10 times more kill deer in the last I mean this whole spring and summer than I ever had before drop a comment why you think why but my reason why I think why is all that rain that we got we got a ton of rain um, a month ago a couple weeks ago y'all seen it y'all probably got it too kill deer every everywhere so just beware guys this is going to be my tip of the day uh if you're pigeon hunting or when dove season comes open when kill deer love your mojo and they decoy when they're coming they really really do look like a dove i'm going to tell you right now tip of the day do not shoot kill deer ever ever they are protected don't do that they look like dove um they usually are making a squealing noise, just like you heard. Weep, 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 weep. So if you hear that noise, that is not a dove. That is a kill deer. They look so much alike in flight. <laughs> Holy cow, where'd he come from? Oh, did I get it on? I don't know if I got it on in time for the shot. I was sitting here on my phone. I haven't seen a pigeon for 30 minutes. That dude came over the power lines. Whoop. Yo yeah, yeah. chuck one up for the good guys. <laughs> I've almost called the hunt, I don't know, two, three times. I thought it was over a long time ago. I've just been enjoying the morning. It's only got up to about 70 degrees by now, so it's still beautiful out. All right, where'd you fall, buddy? This is why I need Fred. I think these small hunts like this, five, 10 bird little pigeon hunts, I think Fred could do it, especially in the morning with it not being too hot. But man, it just... I don't want him to get hurt. There he is. Look at that. Black bird. That's a black check. Older bird. A little bit. No bands. Big bird. Definitely a little older than the other ones. Woo! Well, picked up all my empty shells. Got the decoys all picked up. 
picked up my birds, we're all cleaned up, picked up all my trash. I'm just giving y'all a reminder, always pick up your shells, your trash, leave it better than the way you found it. That is the hunter's way. Whew, I'll load it up, only four birds today. Uh, this pigeon feed I knew was not going to produce a bunch of birds, but I knew it would produce a good solo 20 gauge hunt. You know what I mean? On these small pigeon hunts, I really like to rock a small bore shotgun, 20 gauge 410, uh, because there wasn't very many pigeons. I think the most pigeons I've seen here at any given time was about 40 to 50. So I knew it was going to be about perfect for me. I shot 11 times. A lot of them, half of them were at really high, uh, white birds, those white uh, pigeons that I did miss. If I would have had the 12 gauge though, they would have been Dunsky. Now you guys gotta let me know, do you want to see a 410 pump pigeon hunt? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I wanted to show you these bad boys. Yes, the Ducks shorts, it's got the built-in underwear, uh-huh. They are sweet, got the cup ducks pattern. And then the shoes, y'all have been asking when the shoes are gonna be available. Here is the other color that we're coming out with. Uh-huh, nice gray color. It's got the cup ducks on the inside, yeah. The shoes are available July 14th. The shorts are available right now. When you buy either of these product or any product at all on duckswaterfowl.com, be sure to use B-O-B at checkout. Code Bob to save you some money. July 14th on the shoes, guys. Number two, we are booking at Sand Hill. I know a lot of you have heard it, but if you wanna come hunt with me this year, uh, the Sand Hill book with me link is always down below in the description as well. If you wanna get behind the scenes, you get to meet the real Bob, you see the real Bob, I'm relaxed. It's not YouTube videos, check out my podcast. We just did one, me and P. Diddy, like I told you. Uh, me explaining the actual issues with Fred, the plan, and the new dog. So, all of our Patreons over there, I really appreciate you guys. You gotta sink or swim. Uh, YouTube has taken away most of my ad revenue, so I have to find other ways to uh, to make it or break it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to give up what I do. So, um, I really appreciate your guys' support all the time. But I'm going to stop jabbering. I got to go check the pigeon traps and start another video for y'all. Subscribe if you have not. Please smash the thumbs up button. If, you're, if you've been around a while um, and you enjoy the channel and the videos, please, guys, every single video, if you could smash the thumbs up button, it would help me so, so, so much. Hit that little notification bell on there. It'll notify when your boy uploads. But until next time. Pessimism. I've been keeping it